Hey everybody, it's Joe Burgess. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an update on my TEFL experience, so teaching English as a foreign language. And I just wanted to answer a few of your questions and talk to you a little bit about my experiences here so far. So somebody asked what organisation did I go through to be here. I did it through a company called eye to eye TEFL. Um, they were like the first company that I googled um, that came up um, and they've been doing it for a long time I think and it was good like um, the online course was super easy super easy and didn't take me very long at all like I remember working full time at the time trying to fit it in and I think I did I just did like I did it in as much as I could so I did like three hours and managed to get really far and then I did like four hours and then I did like ten hours, maybe five hours and like I was done by maybe the sixth time that I worked on the online course so it really does not take long at all to finish that um, yeah so you'll have no problem no problem whatsoever if you've done a degree then you will certainly fly by there's, there's no problem with the online course at all um, it's just really basics really it's just brushing up on your English skills um, everything that you sort of learnt through school, I guess. Um, and then when I came out here to Vietnam, we were put through another company, and then we were put through another company. So it was a. I'm now working for a Viet Vietnamese company, so it's nothing really to do with eye to eye now because it's. You know, they work through each other and everything. Um, so I'm doing an internship. So I did, I, I paid money to come out here and now I'm getting a salary. So it kind of works out that if you don't have any experience, a lot of people come and do this because then you can get training on the job whilst getting paid and get some experience. It's also good for people that um, don't want to be sort of stuck out on their own and want to go with a big group of people. So then you get to know a lot of people and you can kind of become a big community. Um, wherever you're living and go through everything together and like ask questions and yeah if I had the option now though I think I would probably not do the internship and do just try and get a job do like an online TEFL course or um, a training weekend thing as well and then apply to actually get a proper job with a salary and everything because the um, the people that would do that would get twice as much um, salary as we're getting right now for half the hours that we're doing. So yeah, it kind of works out better if you can be brave enough to go straight out and get a job. To be honest, after about a week of teaching in the schools, I felt like I could, like I felt like I knew what I was doing and I felt confident enough to have perhaps I've come out on my own, like not with an internship group, but really it's up to you, um, yeah, go for it. If you're thinking about it, it's certainly an adventure, I will say so. Um, do you need to know the local language in order to teach? No, not so, not at all whatsoever. Um, I actually think they prefer it if you don't know any of the language so that in your class you can be strictly speaking in English. Um, so that you don't slip into anything else and like help them out with things. Um, in fact, they, they prefer it when the teaching assistants don't talk in Vietnamese. So I think it's probably better for your teaching that you don't speak it. But for living here and being part of the culture, um, it's certainly worth brushing up on your language skills and learning a new language, or at least trying to learn a new language, just so that you can help yourself to integrate into the culture and like actually order food and things like that. It would be a lot easier. Um, so I'm out here for five months, um, just just been over maybe uh, two months been out here now. So now the excitement and everything and the newness of everything is kind of worn off a little bit and I'm just kind of like slowing down, getting into the rhythm of living here, um, which is a bit crazy at the best of times. Um, yes, the weather is good, the weather is amazing, it's starting to get very cold, well not very cold, no, not very cold at all, it's starting to get cooler than it was when I first arrived, um, but I really love the warm, so it's really good to still be warm in October. 
Um, what age group am I teaching? I am teaching grade two up until grade five. So it's quite a big jump there. So I think grade two is about six year olds and grade six, five, maybe 11. So maybe, maybe about six to 11 year olds. Yeah, um, they're all very different and they're all very sweet. Um, and annoying, of course. So, yeah, the kids, let's talk about the students then. Um, teaching itself is actually really good. Like, I really enjoy the teaching. Um, I enjoy the challenges. I enjoy spending time with the children, um, watching them grow, watching them develop, and just having loads of fun because we're encouraged to have a lot of fun with our, with our lessons. And I feel like our English lessons are a lot more fun than the normal lessons they have every day at school so I think that they always look forward to you coming into the classroom which is really lovely um, when kids just don't want to listen and just mess around and are horrible um, that's not too fun and of course there are always schools that are really bad and schools that are really nice so it's just a mixed bag with that really but the teaching in general is really good um, exhausting but good and it's really re rewarding I think the sort of the bits around it like the management and if you don't get on well with your TA or they're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing and you're doing like double the work in the classroom it can be a bit of a pain but the actual teaching is good it really is and um, such a good skill to have as well and such an amazing experience and culture how does it like this? Okay, so I'll just, maybe I'll just tell you a little bit, like, the, the negatives and the positives of living here so far. So, we'll start with the negatives. So, the negatives that I've encountered in Vietnam, um, animal cruelty would have to be one of them. Um, the way that a lot of people just disregard what an animal, that an animal has any feelings at all, it's just horrible. Like, I've seen some horrible things animals being boiled alive, dogs being eaten, um, chickens being like just, yeah, goats being tied up, taken onto the back of a motorbike and like scraping along the road, like lots of horrible things that I don't even want to think about but like I know it's part of the culture and it's just a different way of living and a different way of life but for me personally I really don't enjoy it and it really really unsettles me and disturbs me so that would certainly be a negative um also the discipline in the classrooms um not good at all because they obviously still use physical punishment here so you do see kids getting like hit with a ruler or like pushed and shoved around and like yeah slapped and it's just yeah some of the stories I've heard from other interns as well really horrible and yeah I do not feel comfortable with that at all and again it's a different culture I know but like it's just something that I will never agree with and it makes me so uncomfortable because my job is just to teach English no it's not to discipline that's the teaching assistant's job and it yeah it's a really difficult one and I do not like like it's just really unsettling as well just to see a child getting punished in front of everyone else and humiliated and it, yeah do not agree with it whatsoever so that's hard and the noise the pollution and the traffic here is pretty intense sometimes it just it just gets really infuriating and <laughs> irritating and but you get used to it that's certainly certain and the positives of this country oh my goodness it's so beautiful here um outside of the city so like if you're thinking of coming traveling to vietnam i would just avoid the cities like maybe come for a few days but just stay out just go to the coasts um just go to the mountains oh, it's so so stunning so beautiful and it just reminds me why i'm here as well because um, I'm here to see things, see the country, see what the real Vietnam is. A city is a city anywhere, so I feel like I could be anywhere in a city, but when I'm in the countryside, I'm seeing the way people live um, out there, away from all of the built-up 
areas and it's just remarkable it's so stunning we've been to cat bar island that's definitely a must see um we're going to hanon bay salary is good for teaching english here so that's definitely a benefit meeting new people is lovely always um just connecting with new people and getting to know a few local people the sunshine yes and just teaching in general like the relationships that you start to build with your children and the overall progress that you can kind of see in them as you go through the thing and also behind me you can probably see all these photos like all these drawings from the little kids every week i get a new little picture from somebody and it's very very sweet so yeah yeah so it's going good it's um it's kind of more realistic now my viewpoint and <laughs> not so idealistic i'd say and uh, just settling into it and trying to enjoy it and make the most of it while I'm here. Um, yeah, so if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to put them down. Uh, good talking to you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.